Bitcoin is yet again creating another dump back towards the downside after being rejected by this previous autumn high. On top of that, Bitcoin has seen a huge ETF net outflow. This has been the first time after three weeks that we are seeing another net outflow. So Bitcoin is still trading inside of its downtrend. But do not get fooled because I do think that this is going to be a huge Bitcoin bear trap. So make sure to push up that like button and as always, let's first of all have a look into what's that imminent short term. And first of all, well, Bitcoin has seen another rejection from of that previous autumn high. Of course, yesterday we were still talking about how we were still trading inside of this downtrend. We were still fighting this resistance level. And also we needed to have a look into what's the results of the Bitcoin ETF. Now, this has actually all turned out pretty bad because we have seen another rejection towards the downside. But in my opinion, this is only going to be setting us up for a very good opportunity. Now, I'm going to be talking about that a little bit later. But first of all, having a look into what's the outflow, well, this was massively caused because the outflow from Grayscale was just so high. We got an outflow from Grayscale of 600 million. Now, we can still be seeing that these institutions through the BlackRock ETF still have been buying even more Bitcoin. But it is just that the Grayscale outflow was so big that we have seen a net outflow from of the ETF. So yes, of course, because of this selling pressure, well, we did get that rejection from of that previous odd mine. And on top of that, we are also right now still trading inside of a downtrend. As you can be seeing, we are creating lower highs and we are creating lower lows. Also on the super trend indicator, we are also getting indicated a downtrend right now. So yes, right now in the short term, is not going to be the time to be getting bullish yet. Now, I'm going to be explaining exactly what I do want to be seeing in order for me to actually flip bullish. First of all, you need to understand that we are seeing a little bit of a correction right now in the short term, but in the longer term time frame, we are still trading in a Bitcoin bull market. So this correction, which we are seeing right now, in my opinion, is only going to be an opportunity to be buying up even more Bitcoin and to be buying up the dip. So that is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be having a look into what signals that are going to be indicating me if we are going to be seeing a bottom anytime soon. And then I'm just going to be buying up the Bitcoin dip. And we can actually already see some signals right now coming up that are going to be indicating that Bitcoin bottom. First of all, we can be seeing that the Bitcoin funding rates are right now trading very low again. And all of the time, whenever this happens, well, it is going to be indicating a very good buying opportunity, just like you could be seeing over here. Whenever the Bitcoin funding rates are low, that means that majority of the liquidity is actually flushed out of the market and then the market is getting ready for another move towards the upside. So yes, right now the Bitcoin funding rates are actually nearing these bottoming stages. Now also we have been seeing this Bitcoin falling wedge breakout. Now we are retesting it right now. I do think that it is actually quite ugly right here with this Bitcoin retest over here, but definitely we could be seeing a bounce from off this level and then still this falling wedge would be valid. But definitely for this, do be careful because, well, we are still trading inside of this downtrend. Now, on top of that, what we could be seeing is a little bit of a double bottom being formed right here. And in that case, well, if we are going to be seeing that break above that previous autumn high with a double bottom, I think it is going to be a perfect opportunity to be breaking, uh, to, to be trading that breakout. On top of that, we could also be having a look into what some kind of a bullish divergence right now being created on that four hourly time frame. All of these signals could be indicating a little bit of a bottom for Bitcoin. So yeah, if any of these signals are going to be getting confirmed, I am going to be updating you about that exactly on my Twitter profile. But yeah, for now, definitely do keep in mind that we are still trading inside of this downtrend and also that none of these signals have really been confirmed yet. But well, my strategy is just going to be to be buying up as many Bitcoin during this Bitcoin dip, because I do think we can be headed a little bit more towards the downside in the short term, but in the longer term, we will just go up even more. And this dip would have been just a perfect buying opportunity. And because we are going to be seeing a pretty limited risk towards the downside of about a 59k, this would be the average Bitcoin correction. Well, I think this risk is going to be very limited. And because of that, I am already starting to open my Bitcoin trade. Now, if we are going to be headed even lower, I'm just going to be adding even more money in towards my Bitcoin trade. And that way, it is not going to be very likely to be getting liquid 
liquidated out of this Bitcoin trade. So yes, I am just going to be buying up more Bitcoin during this Bitcoin dip right here. And well, very quickly, if you are also going to be getting interested in buying up the Bitcoin dip, well, you can right now claim a free 200 US dollar trade over on Bybit. On top of that, you are going to be eligible for this 40,000 US dollar deposit bonus. So make sure to check this one out with that link down below. Also, on top of that, over on Deepcoin, you can be claiming 220 US dollars by only depositing $100. So make sure to check out the links down below. And guys, yes, I am just going to be buying up this Bitcoin dip because we are still trading inside of this Bitcoin bull market. Most people are actually not going to be buying up this Bitcoin dip. They are going to be missing out badly and whenever bitcoin actually breaks above that previous autumn high well that is actually when the real fun is going to be starting last cycle it took about four weeks until we eventually broke above that previous autumn high and whenever we actually broke above well that is when we actually went parabolic so anyways this is going to be the level to be breaking above right now we are still in the short term trading in our correction but i think this is going to be a great opportunity for you right now in the market so make sure to be following me over on twitter to stay up to date about every single market development and guys i'll see you in another update video tomorrow morning